Hey guys, we are talking Pythagorean triples today. It's pretty exciting stuff, okay? I'm gonna go really quick in this video. If you need more details or more examples, I'll link a video over there. I'll also link a video where I talk more in depth about the Pythagorean theorem in case you need an overview on that, okay? But let's get started. Okay, basically what they're asking is, does this set of numbers work in the Pythagorean theorem? Okay, could these three numbers be the sides of a right triangle? Okay, so we're just going to plug it into this and see if it works. So I've got my A, sorry, I got a little hung myself, A, B, and C. Um, I know 17 is C because it is the longest side, the biggest number. So if this is a right triangle, 17 would be my hypotenuse. Okay, so here we go. A squared is 8 squared plus b squared is 15 squared. We are seeing if that equals, so I put a little question mark up there, does that equal 17 squared? That's what we're trying to figure out. If it does equal that, it's a Pythagorean triple. If it doesn't, it's not, okay? 8 times 8 gives me 64. 15 squared gives me 225. We're wondering if that equals 17 squared, which is 289. All right, 64 plus 225 is 289. Oh my gosh, best day ever. So we have 289 equals 289. So yes, this is a Pythagorean triple, okay? If we had gotten something like 272 equals 289, then that would not be it, okay? But since they're equal, yes, it is, okay? Um, if they aren't equal, you can look at the numbers and determine if it is an acute or obtuse triangle. Um, I have a video about that and I'll link it over there. All right, get your homework done. Have dreams of math and art nightmares.